Hi everyone! I know it's been a while, but I needed a break from social media. So I'm back again, and this time I'm bringing you my most anticipated releases of 2017. So let's get on with it! There are quite a few books that I'm really anticipating this year, and one of them has already come out, and that is Wind Witch by Susan Denard. Yes, I have it, and I'm already reading it, and I am just a bit over one half. <sighs> this is book number two in her series about Red Witches, and if you have not read Truth Witch, by the way, if you have not read Truth Witch, I really, really recommend you that you do. This is a YA high fantasy, really, really well written. I cannot praise it enough. I uh, was lucky enough to meet Susan Denard during BookCon last year in Chicago, and she's an absolute sweetheart. She signed my copy of Truth Witch, and that was amazing. So Wind Witch is... I think it's even better, to be honest, and I'm enjoying it so much, I am so happy to have this book. Next book is coming out only on January 17th, so in a couple of days, but I already have it. And this is History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. I read Adam Silvera's um, More Happy Than Not a year ago, and it absolutely blew me away. I think it was my first read of 2016, um, very closely followed by Truth Witch by Susan Denard, and I cannot wait to read this book. I saw it in a local bookstore, and even though it was there like a week before the actual release date, I just snatched it. I snatched it, and even though I will not start reading it before I finish Wind Witch, I'm so happy to have it. I'm really, really excited, and I know that Adam Silvera will probably rip my heart out with his writing, but this is what good books for, you know? For, yeah, we need them to rip our hearts out. That sounded a bit morbid. I'm sorry. Another book which is coming out on January the 17th is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. I don't have this book yet, but I do have it pre-ordered, and I hope I'll get it by the end of next week if everything works out. So that book apparently is a sci-fi and book number one in another trilogy. I'm not sure if it's trilogy or series, but it is by Veronica Roth. And you know what, I'm, I, I, I don't want to say that I'm a huge fan of Veronica Roth, but the Divergent series was, um, I think, one of the first series, YA series and YA dystopian series that I read about two years ago, and that was my first foray into YA world, so I'm kind of, I really enjoyed Divergent, and um, before anyone, you know, throws anything at me, I just want to say that I hated Insurgent, and I think that Allegiant is the best book, and that's the best ending of the series. And because I liked Allegiant, I decided to give this one a go, so I'm really looking forward to reading another book by Veronica Roth. And even though I hope she does not do the same thing she did in the Divergent series, you know what I mean? However, I still hope that it will be a book full of twists and turns. Another anticipated release is volume number 12 of, of Chu, and that is a graphic novel series that I'm really, really enjoying. It's coming out on January 24th, and even though I don't have it pre-ordered, I'll try to get it either from Hoopla or from Overdrive. I do have this date marked in my calendar because, seriously, it's been... I think pretty much over six months since I read the last volume of Chu, and that's a bit too long. The next release that I'm really looking forward to is the omnibus edition of Volume 1 of Xena Warrior Princess. And that is graphic novel. I did not know that there is a graphic novel based on Xena, the Warrior Princess. And if you don't know, Xena is one of my favorite TV shows. Accidentally, this graphic novel is also by John Lehman, who is the author of Chu. So yeah, this graphic novel is coming out on January 31st. I don't have it pre-ordered because I'm hoping to get it as well from Hoopla. If it's not available there, I will definitely buy it because I'm a huge fan of Xena. And I cannot even imagine what John Lehman will come up with in Xena. I just, I'm looking forward to it. 
The next release is coming out on February the 7th and that is King's Cage by Victoria Aviard. This is the third book in her trilogy and I read uh, book number one and book number two. I was not very impressed by book number one even though I did like the world. I gave it about 3.5 stars and the second book was much better, however I still had some problems with it. I did enjoy it though, and even though I, like I said, it's not my favorite series, I still decided to pre-order King's Cage because I'm really curious about how she's going to resolve this whole situation. So that one is coming out on February the 7th. I do have it pre-ordered, so hopefully Amazon will not let me down and get it to me right by February the 7th. The next release I'm looking forward to is the deluxe box set of manga of Revolutionary Girl Utena. And I watched that anime back in the day, like 10 years ago, never had a chance to read the manga, and unfortunately it's not available on Hoopla, Overdrive, or in my local library. That's why I really want to get my hands on it. I know that the manga itself differs greatly from the anime, and I did like the anime, so I kind of want to get my hands on manga. However, However, since I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost, I did not pre-order it. So I'm kind of on the fence about this one, but I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully either I will purchase it for myself or maybe my library will get it. So yeah, it's coming out at the end of February, so it will be February 28th. My next anticipated release is The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye, and this is book number two in her trilogy. I read The Crown's Game last year, and I admitted I was very critical of it. Even though I was critical and I gave it about like 3, 3.5 stars, I still did enjoy it. And it's one of those books that, in spite of its flaws and um, obvious, you know, um, cultural mishaps in this book, it still was very pleasurable and I did enjoy the plot. I liked the depiction of St. Petersburg and I liked the depiction of magic. I liked a lot of things about this book. However, like I said, I'm looking forward to reading it, even though I'm not sure I'm gonna buy my own copy since I do not own The Crown's Game. I got it from the library, but that book is coming out on May the 16th, so I'm looking forward to that release. My next anticipated release is Because You Love to Hate Me, which is a collaboration of booktubers and famous YA writers, and that's like a collection of, I believe, 13 stories? I'm not really sure. However, even though I'm kind of on the fence about the fact that they decided to involve booktubers in writing those stories, I am, however, very happy that this book will have a lot of authors that I do like. And yes, like I said, it's coming out on July 11th. And the last but definitely not least is the book that should have come out last year, but it didn't. And that is The Thorn of Ember Lane by Scott Lynch. That is book number four in his Gentleman Bustard series. And that is high fantasy, adult fantasy. I read um, book number one, The Lies of Locke Lamora, quite a while back and I kept thinking, oh, I should reread it and read two other books, which I already have, but it just never happens. It, this book was supposed to be released last September, it did not happen and I was really surprised when it was not delivered because I had it pre-ordered and it was not delivered to me. And when I checked the Amazon, turns out that the release date was pushed back for 12 months. Yeah, so I'm, I do have a lot of time to catch up with the series and I'm looking forward to that book. I, like I mentioned, I have already have it pre-ordered, like I've had it pre-ordered for months. Well, this is it. These are all releases I'm really looking forward to. It does not mean that I'm looking forward to reading only these books and not some others. There are quite a few books which are coming out in popular series, especially in YA this year, and obviously I will be reading those if I catch up with the series by then. However, these are the books that I'm really, really excited about. These are the books that I really want to get my hands on and start reading immediately. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and let me know down below which books you're looking forward to this year and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Oh my god, my stomach is making weird noises. Stop it. We've had lunch.